and let's start with the driver side we've got here the first fuse box air filter housing obviously the car battery here is the mass airflow sensor here we have the turbocharger solenoid valve behind there we've got the brake booster this is the brake fluid reservoir this is the brake fluid level sensor this is the switch for the positive crankcase ventilation valve we've got here the connector for the first oxygen sensor on top here we've got the turbocharger actuator which is electronically controlled we've got here a connector under this heat shield this intake pipe will deliver the air to the turbocharger and then under here we've got a pipe which goes to the intercooler you can actually see that pipe is that one and it will connect to this throttle body which will deliver the air to the intake manifold here we have another turbocharger solenoid this one will take vacuum from the vacuum pump which is located here one connection will deliver vacuum to this switch and then the switch will deliver the vacuum through this line further down there to the turbocharger down there is the oil filter cap you're gonna need a 32 millimeter for this here on top we've got the high pressure fuel pump and here is the timing belt alternator is under it then we've got the ac compressor which you can see better from under the car we've got here the glow plugs four of them for each cylinder and injectors obviously each injector is connected to the fuel rail which is under here we've got the fuel pressure sensor on the side of the intake manifold is the actuator for the intake runners inside the intake manifold you're gonna find some sort of flaps like uh, small throttle bodies which will divert the air depending of the engine's need this will usually improve the performance of the engine and on the side here we've got a fuel return line as you can see each injector is connected to it and if you follow along you're gonna see that it goes back into the diesel fuel filter this is the agr differential pressure sensor to the sensor we've got connected two hoses which will both connect to the exhaust manifold and the exhaust pipe down there here we have again another exhaust pressure sensor here on top of the high pressure fuel pump we're gonna find the fuel pressure regulator and a fuel pressure sensor a second fuel pressure sensor the abs pump is right there it's kind of hard to get access to it so i would say that overall this car is not so do-it-yourself friendly and i will say that it's quite a crowded engine bay for a 1.6 liter but anyway with that being said let's go under the car and see what we're gonna find there the oil pan covered in this fabric and next to the drain bolt we've got the oil level sensor on the front here we've got an auxiliary water pump and on this pipe from the intercooler we've got the air pressure sensor here we have the ac compressor there is the crankshaft pulley we've got here the connector for the radiator and we get access to the starter motor as well and on the driver side we've got the horn right in the corner here on the driver side as well we've got the manual transmission up there we've got the catalytic converter okay guys so these were the location of all the components you can see on this engine bay have a nice day and i will see you in the next video